Tyr Invictus tech tree is huge. So that's why I'm going to be doing a few guides on tech paths that you can take down the tech tree for different aims and goals, certain things that you should really be taking a look at. So let's get on to today's. And a question I've seen a lot from people is how you get yourself set up with space mining and techs that you want to go through on the path for launching a mission up into space and getting established with your space engineering. It's actually a fairly short tech path. You just need to make sure that you're taking the right choices and um, ensuring that you've got enough boost. And in the early game, that's going to be a little bit tough. Uh, you want to make sure that you're getting the right countries and setting the right priorities. But once you've got it set up, it's actually not going to be a big worry for the rest of the game. It's just the first little section of getting your mining operations going that's going to take a little bit of work. Yeah, the global researchers you're going to need to get or steer the research towards. It's a fairly short tree. Uh, the mission to space you're going to start off with. It's one of the three that the game starts off with. Then you're going to want to make sure that you're getting the outpost HABs and you're going to need advanced magnetics and mass drivers. That will then unlock uh, space mining and refining and the outpost core. And then you can get the outpost mining complex. And those are all the techs that you need to get started mining. However, you'll also then need the mission to the moon to get the moon uh, and then the mission to Mars to get Mars and then in a solar system. Definitely you need to start with the moon. You can perhaps skip it, but I think that's a bad idea. If you go straight to Mars, you're going to be very behind everyone else. And the amount of boost you're going to need to do that or skip straight towards that would be enormous. After you've got your first bit of mining is definitely to go to Mars because that is where pretty much some of the biggest resource availability will be with so many sites that you can get some cool stuff on. So definitely should be our priority. If you're finding that your boost is getting a very difficult. There are a bunch of technologies that will allow um, improvements to your investments in boost and uh, reduce the cost of sending things from earth. There are many of these that might take you along a tech path that's a little bit slower. In fact, the easiest one to go along that will give you the largest boost to your boost basically is the nuclear freighters. And the thing I like about this tech is it goes down a path which will allow you to go to some cool rockets later on. So it's a nice little tech tree there. Especially since you're going to be getting a lot of these as well for some of your future space operations. It's very good. So the nuclear freighters. You're going to get your mission to space at the start of the game. Deep space propulsion concepts. You're going to want that anyway. Nuclear fission in space. You're going to want that anyway. And then you get the solid core fission systems and your nuclear freighters. Along this path, you're also going to get the fission pile, which you're going to need for powering your things on more distant solar bodies. So if you want to have a base on Mars, you're probably going to do better using a fission pile than multiple solar arrays because um, Mars is further out from the sun. So you, it's harder to get solar power there. So fission power stuff is going to be great anyway. But the benefit of the nuclear freighters is that it speeds up the, the delivery of modules so it's gonna your construction will be way quicker um, so if you can get that fairly early maybe setting up a base on mars would be quicker so it might not be the worst idea to get this while you're setting up your moon base and prospecting mars if you can get nuclear freighters and then set up your mars base you can get it much quicker and it also reduces the cost of launching things from earth so less boost needed. So there are a bunch of these other ones, not necessarily want, going to want to get to all of these, but if you're finding that selection of countries that you've been able to get access to is not giving you enough boost, maybe you want to go for them. Um, so the next generation aerospace leads to hybrid air breathing rockets, scramjets and aerospikes, which all increase your investment to boost. Um, so for that, you need to get advanced carbon manipulation, carbon nanotubes, advanced chemical rocketry and next generation aerospace. But since you have to get advanced chemical rocketry, you're going to have a bunch of other techs available to you that will give you the same thing. You've got high thrust probes, which is going to be very good at prospecting with the solar system, uh, speeds up the delivery of probes, you get space tugs, speeds up delivery of modules, super heavy rockets, which increases your boost priority investments and reusable rockets, which does the same. That can also then lead to the commercial rocket companies 
which gives you some orgs for your aerospace. Um, so basically orgs that give you some boost. But you shouldn't have to worry about this too much. Once you've got enough boost coming in, you will be set up in space and um, building most of your things in space. So that's going to make things a lot easier. Um, but it's just this initial thing. So I wouldn't focus on getting all of these. Maybe get the probes and the reusable rockets so you can get a space org. You might not need to get all of these. But if you, you've got extra research, nothing else to do, maybe you can get them. Um, there are additional ones as well in multiple other technologies. You can see these little tech trees over here. Liquid fuel rockets, cryogenic fuel rockets, uh, improved interplanetary rockets, and advanced interplanetary rockets, which do a bunch of all these similar things as well. So um, these are paths you can go down to speed up things as well as increasing your boost, um, but shouldn't be early game priorities. A tech path you might want to look at once you've started setting up your bases is hydroponics and farming. Um, this will reduce your dependency on water and volatiles, which is going to be one of the highest costs of your, your stations. Getting yourself into space agriculture, you'll see a little tech tree over here, mission to space, augmented reality, biotechnology, platform core, space research, space agriculture, hydroponics, and then your farms. And just since um, some people are unsure how to get more counselors, something you should, you just want to get the clandestine cells. Clandestine cells is the research that allows you to get an additional counselor and also allows you to get a little bit more management capacity. We Are Not Alone is the global research that comes out right at the start of the game. So you should be able to research clandestine cells once that is researched. The, the next one that unlocks more counselors is COVID operations, but that is way further down the tech tree. You're going to need to get um, advanced quantum manipulation, photonic computing, advanced quantum manipulation, quantum computing, and quantum encryption. Quite a bit further down, but getting clandestine cells should be an early game priority as well, because having more counselors allows you to do a lot more stuff. So in summary, you're going to want to get outpost tabs, mission to the moon, advanced magnetics, mass drivers, space mining and refining, the outpost core and the outpost mining complex, clandestine cells for your next counselor, mission to Mars, and anything else that I said now can give you more boost. Um, another thing you can consider, um, especially if you start off the game with access to a space station, you can think of adding either a energy lab or a space science lab to that. Energy lab gives you an increase to the investments in your boost, and the space science will give you an increase in your investments into mission control. And long-term mission control is going to be a limiting factor more than boost. Um, boost is hard to get at the beginning of the game, but mission control is something you're going to need for each base and spaceship and all that that you're going to have in the later game. So getting more mission control over the long term is going to be harder than getting things up into space. Definitely think about having a space station perhaps with a space science lab and a energy lab. And the energy lab, think of it basically like those researchers that give you an increase to your boost. You can get up to 30% increase in your boost investments with an energy lab. Um, you'll need to have multiple of them. Um, these need to be in the interface orbits, which are the first two orbits. Those are the only ones that these specific benefits to the Earth will come from. Um, otherwise, you'll just get the benefits of the, the research that you get from these. Um, so if you get all of these technologies together, you will have a massive increase in your boost investments. So they don't give you more boost directly, but they give you more investments into the boost priority. Um, another thing to consider is if you're getting countries, um, capturing countries that are in a federation, if you don't have full control of the federation, you're giving away your boost to other nations. So if you're in a nation like Kazakhstan and you don't have Russia and all the rest of the Eurasian Union, you might want to go fully capture it, make sure you've got the executive control point and leave the Federation because the difference between getting all of your boost and giving it all away can be about two point something boost per month with that. So definitely a massive difference. So definitely think about that. Um, it's a mistake I made as well. I only realized later on how much of a difference that makes. Um, and also being the first two founding bases uh, on different surfaces allows you a little bit of a bonus to science and influence. 
So if you're the first on the moon, you're going to get a nice little big payday from that, as well as doing the same on Mars will give you even more. So when the game starts off, um, the global researchers will be We Are Not Alone, Skywatch and Mission to Space. What you're going to need to do is make sure that you're trying at least on one of these to be the research leader, so the one that contributes the most. So what you might want to do is, since going to space is what we're planning over here, put all three focuses of tech into mission of space and potentially just ignore the two others. And so you're putting all of your effort into one global research. That way you can be sure that as much research as you've got is going into one of them. Because if you can't pick the path of the global researchers, you have to rely on the other factions to be picking the techs for you. And they not, might not necessarily have the same priorities. And uh, you're going to be delayed. If you put all your effort into all of the, the global techs, unless you're a massive, massive research powerhouse, you're not necessarily going to be leading. So you need to focus on one. Maybe you can put a bit into the others as well, but you need to be sure that one of them, you're the leader. So that's my tip. Put it all into one. Since Mission to Space is going to be used for the majority of these texts, put it into that first. We are not alone. We'll finish as well. You need that for some of the texts. And then in your faction texts, you can focus on the ones that we talk about. Um, if you're wanting to get a second tech for research for yourself to be researching two at once acquire an org that has an additional engineering project so that's got a little gear icon on it now there are lots of them that offer it um, you should get them a few months into the game you should see a few of these but remember the more things you're focusing on the more diluted your research is so sometimes it's best to just put it all into one global research and then the one tech that you're wanting to get currently um, so the tech tree is a little bit annoying. Um, I think it's one of the things that they can do the most with improving in the game. So I have been sharing, um, as you saw, a few little things from another little tech tree, uh, something I found on Reddit, um, just a little bit more of a searchable and organizable um, tech tree on the web. I'll put a link in the description for that. I'm not sure if that's going to stay updated always, but um, for now it's quite useful just to get a little bit of a, a simpler look at the thing. But... Hopefully that helps you get set up in space. Yeah, thanks for joining in. Um, subscribe for more. I'm going to do some more tech paths for later on stuff for perhaps different directions you can go with your rockets and warfare. Thanks for joining in. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.